Welcome back to another Guitar Files, and this one, ladies and gentlemen, a tad emotional for me. Uh, I'm just about to hit the studio and do some recording for uh, another single and hopefully going on the album. So everybody who uh, downloaded Kiss You in the Keys, thank you so much uh, for your support because it means a lot. Uh, it's the brand new Beach Bum Band single that came out a couple weeks ago in case you haven't heard of it. So yes, I got to pimp it real quick because it's a Beach Bum Band channel. But speaking of that, I got to kind of give credit to where credit's due. So I was restringing this Rickenbacker with the intention of, of selling it. Like, it's one of those ones that I, I love this guitar. It's beautiful. And I just don't play it enough. And I don't even know why I don't play it enough. Because as I pick it back up and... It's like, man, cool. And I think I know the answer, which we'll explore in a minute. But I was going to sell it. And uh, as you know, my very good friend Bob Left was one of those guys that says, man, you can't sell something like this. Here's why. This guitar, this one right here, was the one that the first time the Beach Bum Band ever played on stage with Jimmy Buffett, this was the main guitar that was played. And I think we were in the middle of a song. I can't remember. I broke a string either right before Jimmy Buffett came on stage or right during the middle of a song. I remember having a panic attack. And this is at the Cheeseburger in Paradise in Downers Grove when that was open. And this was the guitar. This was it. So why I don't play it, I don't know. But check this out. It's a 19... Oh, man. 90... Who knows? But Rickenbacker, 1999 maybe, is when I... Is when I got it so there's the you know it's the 360 fire glow it's got that stereo jack they do you know and and i which i've never used here's the back of it and it's a good guitar right so you're thinking to yourself like hey why would you sell this and that's what bob said he's like why would you sell it? i was like well man i just don't play it that often and that's on me and i think i know why so but when you hear the clear tones uh Listen to this. Let me just start. Like I said, restrung. Okay, it's not out of tune yet. Just restrung it. But like, here's, let's just start with the, here's the, oh yeah, it's out of tune. Let me pause and tune this real quick. Okay. It was pretty. So here is the, uh, the bridge pickup. from rock and guitar for me you know I was in a metal band with all these Ibanez gems and stuff like that so it, it, this guitar I think you know and, and the reason I got it, it believe it was on the cover of a Jimmy Buffett album I think it's Feeding Frenzy him playing it live and I was like oh man and then I went into Guitar Center in uh, Burbank uh, Cicero area of Chicago and they had it sitting there and I was like oh man that's a sign so the, and it actually ironically may be the beginning of this guitar problem that I have here so but it's not a now let's put on some distortion here's what I'm talking about let's go with an OCD pedal <laughs> still here is the the both pickups Bridge. 
So, great with an OCD, when you put the shred on it, you don't rock if you don't have feedback every now and then. Just remember that. But... doesn't feel like a shredder guitar you know um, and it's got the neck board has got that like lacquer finish to it if you can see that not like so it feels different than your typical rosewood neck or something like that and uh, I think that's what's been keeping it out of the arsenal for a while and then I plugged it in as you hear and I realized something which once again Bob I said Bob's gonna go on has told me, uh, like, I gotta do a rig rundown because of my tone. Especially with that clean. And what I realized is I've been playing it through the wrong amp for years. You know how some guitars need the right amp? It's been the wrong amp for years. And uh, now that I got the right amp, it's like, here's like the steel string, the. Uh, I mean, it just comes through like... So, I think you're going to see it coming back in the arsenal anyway. So, and I'm glad because I think if I would have let go of this guitar... Uh, I would have looked back and regretted the heritage that this guitar has given me because those shows really, you know, playing with Jimmy Buffett those few times. And I got to tell you how fortunate I feel. I know it's so far in the past and I'm not trying to like live on riding coattails or anything. So I just got to let you know that. But it's really what kind of kicked off the Beach Bum Band into existence. Otherwise, we'd still be in my old basement making Bloody Marys. You know what I'm talking about, guys. So uh, that's that's this. So this guitar is special, and let me bring it out more. So that's guitar files for me with the good old Rickenbacker. Subscribe, please. <laughs>